What is crack again, fellow Pito Nation? Listen, I heard, all right. I listened, and I have changed the name because obviously community talk a little bit too confusing. So let's call it Pito Talk, like most of you suggested. That's done. It's gonna be in the title, so you don't freak out and think that I am doing something myself. Whatever, right? So, anyways, another uh, uh, video, Pito Talk. Me giving back to the community, trying to help you guys in any way I can, right? And um, while I entertain you on the other side, right? Um, but yeah, so today we have, um, let's say Mario, we got Mario, um, and Mario seems to be really depressed, Bobby, he's a uh, senior in high school, and, um, let me tell you a little bit about his, about the email he sent me, okay, um, he says that, uh, he's going through so much right now, um, no one bothers to help me because many people say the same things, I'm a senior in high school, and I, um, and I want to know how to, how do life get better? I don't know, it's, it's really written, he was probably distraught. I want to know how do life get better. How does life get better? I'm sure that's what he was trying to say. I have severe depression since I was 11. Uh, you're a late bloomer. Uh, he's pretty short. Uh, to 5'7". I'm like, let me stop you right there, Eto, Mr. Mario. 5'7", Poppy. You're not getting any sympathy from me there, okay? This is a 5'5 five five guy you're talking about. Talking about late bloomer. I can barely grow this right here, I forgot what you call this thing right here, this mustache shit thing going in here, let alone a full beard. Look, you can't even see any hairs. You see right here? It's the only hairs I grow. So, <laughs> Nate Bloomer, I have, a, I have yet to bloom. My balls are still up here. They need to drop. So, yeah. But anyways, let's continue. Um, he keeps getting reacted by girls. Woo! Uh, not because I'm ugly, but because I'm not tall, athletic, uh, or masculine enough. Uh, I dread going home because his parents are always uh, bugging him about homework. Um, even though he's still doing really good in school, but every time he brings it up, um, the, the, his parents get mad. Um, he has no friends, uh, he eats lo uh, lunch alone, and I spend the day in my room. I want to move, but I feel like I will disappoint. I'm not really sure what you meant by that, by the way. Uh, I want to move, but I feel like I will disappoint. Like, I don't know, like, move, like, go out and do something, move, or, like, move to another uh, state or city. Not sure, but we'll get back to that. I have no family and friends to talk to. I'm on the verge of giving up. All right, Mario. So let's just was crack lack in here. The first thing you need to do is get rid of giving up. Then your vocabulary. Because that's the easiest thing you do is giving up. Straight up the easiest thing to do. I would not be here right now if I would have given up, right? I would be crawling on a ball, crying myself to sleep, and man, no, I'm accomplishing absolutely anything, right? Um... You've been depressed since 11. I'm not sure if you're on medication. I don't know if it's a, a clinical depression. Again, no, not a doctor here or whatever. Um, uh, or it, I don't know, would it be great for you to get diagnosed if it's a severe case of... Uh, I mean, you've been... What, I'm, I'm guessing you're 18 now. That's been seven years depressed. Um, or it's just a self-inflicted depressed. I don't know. But, um, but if you're on meds, I would recommend, you know, you still... Drink them. If you're not, then maybe you can talk to your parents about that as well. Um, now, let's talk about your parents first. They, you, you tell me that they're bugging you uh, about homework all the time, and that pisses you off, even though you're doing good in school. And when you bring it up, they get pissed off at you. This is where you need to have, and you're a, you're a senior, so you're, you're an adult already, right? So you need to have an adult conversation with your parents. And I'm not saying you haven't been a, an adult. I'm just saying that you need to sit them down and make them understand that what's about to happen is you're going to tell them all this stuff, and they need to understand what's crack a lack, right? Um, you, you can tell them, you know, very respectfully, of course, you know, you can tell your, your parents to go, you know, beep. But um, sit them down and be like, listen, I am going to talk right now. I'm going to tell you how I feel, right? Because every time I bring it up in different ways, it never, nothing ever happens, right? I feel like you guys are not listening to me. So sit down and this is what's happening, okay? And then you tell them everything. And hopefully they would respect you as their child and also as a adult and understand right and then have a normal conversation so you guys get to the bottom of that because that seems to be a huge problem um when it comes to what you've written down here right it's your parents and the communication because you don't have any family to talk to you know and you should be able to talk to your parents right that's something I was really, I am really lucky, you know, my parents love me and I love my parents and even though I was an asshole when I was a kid in school, oh my god, so bad, 
um, I can still talk to my parents, you know, and um, I got into really, really big problem. Dude, um, something I've, I don't think I've ever said to anybody, um, except, you know, the people I know. Um, when I was 21, I was working at Blockbuster. I got caught stealing movies like a retard, right? And um, I called my parents. First thing I said, listen, uh, I'm in trouble. Um, they want me to pay, well, I forgot, was it $400 or something right now? Or they're going to call the authorities. They probably didn't have enough to even call the authorities. But still, it was something that, holy shit. Like, if you were to call your parents, you would think they were going to fucking scold you, right? First thing they did was, okay, let's get this out of the way. Here you go, the money, because I didn't have any money. And then blah, blah, blah. So, and of course, after that, you know, I was in Florida. They were in San Antonio, but... So, you know, I sat down on the phone and had this long ass conversation with my dad and realized how big of an idiot I was because I wasn't thinking about the repercussions. I was just pumped up. Yeah, movie's free, right? But uh, my point is that I was able to talk to my parents in such a horrible situation, right? You would think that you would get, again, reprimanded. But it was awesome. So you definitely need that from your parents. You need to be able to openly talk to them. Listen, coño, I'm fucking depressed. I need your help. I need your help, right? I appreciate your concern with my homework. Obviously, I've been doing it, and I'm doing good in school. All these are my grades, right? Obviously, if you told me that, you know, you tell me you're going to school, I hope that you're going to school, right? A's, B's, here you go. So please, can we back off of that? Like, if I want to have a conversation with you, mom and dad, let's not bring homework in, cool? Unless I'm doing bad. I completely understand. If I'm fucking up, no problem. But right now, let's just keep it aside, because it's really hurting me, and it's getting, you know, making me more depressed, right? That's my suggestion with your parents. Now, when it comes to girls, dude, you know, I, I my first girlfriend is my wife. Legit, right? I had this one thing. I had, well, I was in Puerto Rico when I was in high school, like after getting rejected by, and I still know their names, fucking Marilyn rejected me, um, Gina rejected me, Gala rejected me, Chrissy rejected me. Um, and then after I graduated, there was this girl that was in the class under me. She was in 11th grade, um, going to become a senior. We had this phone thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Great. Well, we went out uh, with friends to like this club, whatever. And, um, you know, that lasted about two months, nothing serious, no kisses, no nothing. Right. That was my first venture into women. And then I moved to Florida and then in Florida, uh, three months after being here, I met my wife. But then she was still in a relationship, whatever, and, you know, I, I, I was falling for her, but it looked like I wasn't being able to get her, so there was this other girl, Stacy, which she hates the name. Um, <laughs> Stacy was blonde, she was beautiful, and everybody wanted her, and somehow I managed to attract her, right? Nothing really happened, you know? We hanged out uh, uh, for, for, I think, like a month, two months, and then my wife came around, and, you know, it was just like, boom. This is, this is who I want to be with, right? So, moral of the story, dude, I was on the same train, right? Late bloomer, fucking small ass bitch right here. Sucked balls with girls, but you, I just, you know, you gotta keep putting yourself out there. Again, you can't give up. If I were to give up already, like, if I were basing my life on my track record with women from fucking middle school, I would not be married right now with a kid on the way, right? So you have to suck it up. And I'm not saying that as an asshole, like, oh, you're being a little bitch. I'm just saying it just it's just how it is. You got to suck it up because that's part of not giving up. Because if you suck it up, you don't give up, right? It's just like, fuck, you learn from what you're doing. This doesn't work. Boom, let's go. And if women are rejecting you because of who you are, then obviously those are not the women for you, okay? Because you don't, I mean, oh, you're not athletic enough. Well, they're, they're probably looking for that, but... You're, you know, you just, you gotta go somewhere else, right? You gotta go somewhere else. And it sucks. It sucks. Trust me. I've been there. It sucks balls. <sighs> but anyways, my friend, um, don't give up. Giving up to me is stupid. And I know it's tough, but that's why we're here, man. So you have somebody to talk to right here, all right? So, you know, take my advice. Do whatever, whatever you want with it. I hope it works. I hope something happens. And um, if you need help, just ask for help ask if you don't ask anybody nobody's gonna know that you need help even if they know you need help and they might not give it to you just you know you need to put yourself out there yep it is it's it's how it is man so make sure you talk to your parents make sure you you just come to the to the realization that yo i, I was in the same boat that you were five five i was two inches so I'm smaller than you bro and i was tinier when i was in high school you're five seven and dude i was like four feet
<laughs> in high school. So I was tiny, man. I was tiny. Ah, dude, Mario. But I wish you the best, dude. And keep me in touch. And, um, yeah, bro. Peace. Before leaving, Mario, I also wanted to say that you need to, um, when I was saying about looking for help, you also need to, you know, go the extra mile and try to get some friends, right? Not sure. Um, I had friends. Um, I was one of those kids that was, I wasn't popular, like, oh, everybody, everybody knew me, but it wasn't because I was the most popular kid in the school. I was just, I knew everybody. I knew everybody. That's something that I was, it was easy for me, right? My, it, obviously, it's not easy for you, but it was easy for me. I talked to everybody. I was, every single group, I knew everybody, right? Those groups didn't like each other, but I knew, you know, everybody. So, it was easy for me. And then, of course, I had my tight knit group, which I still talk to to this day, um, high school group, so, uh, uh, which are great friends of mine. But it's one of those things that you also, um, it, it's just, you know, it, it's tough, but you need to just get out there, man. You got to put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there, nothing's going to happen. You're going to miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? That's an expression that I've heard, and it makes 100% sense, right? If you miss every shot you don't take, right? What's the worst that could happen to you? A big, fat no. Is the world going to end? Hell no, bruh. How many fucking women and, and other people that you can be friends with are there? It's a shit loads. Shit loads, okay? So visualize it as the worst, again, just like I said, the worst thing that can happen is you get a fat no, and that goes with everything, you're trying to find a new job, boom, the worst thing you can get is a no, you're trying to find a college to go to, the worst thing you can get is a no, okay, no, fuck you, but keep going, right, keep going, man, keep going, keep going, dude, keep going, Meditate. It's what I like to do. That's why I like going outside. Some people don't like not like going outside. Do whatever makes you happy to just oh just get in that zone, man. Oof. Cause trust me, what what you're what you're doing right now is not helping you. Absolutely not. Cause you're just you're you're like a like um you're cooking in, in that negativity, right? And that is a toxic environment. You need to get out of that toxic environment. That's why I usually say go outside because 99% of the time that toxic environment is your house, your room, because that's where you are in the worst pain is in your bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Because that's your, that's your home. That's, that's it. So when I say go outside, that's what I mean. Away from the toxic area. Go outside. Get some fresh air. Get some sun. You don't like sun, bro? Put fucking... You just cover yourself up, but be outside. Breathe. Fresh air. Hopefully it'll be fresh. And just move forward, man. There's a there's a saying that my dad tells me in Spanish, um, which is... Um, pal frente, pa atrás ni pa coger impulso, right? So it, it's pretty much... It sounds stupid translated, but this is what it says, right? It's forward. Backwards, not even to get a running start, right? So you know how you, you prepare to go. So always forward. Backwards, not even to get a running start. Fuck backwards. Just keep going forward and that's it. That's it. But anyways, again, <laughs> make a long ass video. Hopefully it helped you, dude. Um, and, you know, you got this, dude. You got this. You got all of us here, you know. Whatever, you got what, like a thousand people or something that have been watching these videos. I'm sure at least 10 of them are here to help and be supportive, right? Because support is phenomenal and they're fucking awesome. And so am I. So another goodbye, right? <laughs> After four minutes later. Laters, man. Take care. Bye-bye.